We've all heard of the primary color red, blue, and yellow. It's the foundation of color theory. But that's just it. It's a theory. There are other color theories out there. But that's a conversation for another day. Let me explain. When I was teaching my beginner students the basics of makeup color theory, we started with the most simplest form of the fundamentals. And that's teaching 101, period, no matter what you're teaching. When you're learning basketball, you need to learn how to dribble and hold the ball before you learn how to do a layup. Because believe it or not, not everyone can wrap their mind around the science of color. If you're one of those lucky people who have always understood color theory, lucky you. It still never hurts to refresh and go back to the drawing board. It will only improve your creativity and help you become a better beauty professional. Which brings us back to why I'm here to help you become more creative, is that you actually need some restraints. It's definitely harder to start with a blank page and expect creativity to automatically happen. But when you have guidelines and things you can or cannot do, that's actually when the magic happens. Let's do a creative exercise. Using whatever medium you want, create some makeup looks using only primary colors, with the exception of adding only one secondary color to your look. Visit the link in my bio for a free downloadable eye chart. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. Make sure you tag me.